just chose to opt out to really have control of my own destiny. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we feel like I got to wait to be happy until I get married. I got to wait to go on vacation until I have kids. If you don't live your life, mm -hmm. like, if you don't live your I, life. I, I, yeah. Kind of tying it to your age, we'll start there. So people are saying, well, people would say that you are in the danger zone. So you haven't hit the wall yet. <laughs> but this is when yet. you should really start focusing on finding a man. Right. So how do you feel about that not being at 30 yet? I'm not lost. So I don't mm. have to find anybody. Oh! Right. <laughs> You have to be really content with art and life, mm -hmm. and everybody has their own chapters. And marriage is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. Having kids is not for everybody. So why are we all thinking we gotta go this narrow way in life? Mm -hmm. You gotta think for yourself. Attack <laughs> <laughs> me. Can we say the question over again? Because they be attacking me. <laughs> so Shanae, with you, you're you're closer to thirty. Okay. So how do you feel with hearing these things about saying that your value is about to decrease or that you should be focused on finding a man? How has that impacted your dating? Ah, uh, you see this melanin? Because honey, it ain't even affected yet. <laughs> Y'all, like people walk up to me, makeup, no makeup on, and they're like, are you like 19, 20, 22 or something? I'm like, no honey, I'm about to turn 30 July 18. So you back up. Okay. But I mean, psychologically, personally for myself, I could just not kid around, I would say that um, the year after COVID, I did have like a little bit of a stigma, like a little bit of depression, like, oh my God, I don't have a family. Like, I, I thought I was gonna have kids by 30. Like, what am I doing with my life? Like, I literally had that moment for myself and I was like, oh my goodness, like, what do I do now? I have to restart. So now I'm like, I'm that bitch, I'm about to be 30. Yeah. I'm thriving, I'm my own <laughs> business owner, I'm an entrepreneur full time, so I'm just like, Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> okay, okay. So I can say that I've honestly had mixed feelings about it. I think mm -hmm. that when it comes to appearance, I'm not super worried about that because I'm still confident in how I look. Yes. But I think that what bothers me the most is this perception that my value is decreasing as a person. Because I know I'm dope. I'm a good person yes. and I know I have things to offer. But I was reading a comment that someone left on one of my YouTube videos and they said, if a woman is still single by 30, that means that she basically was very promiscuous in her 20s because mm -hmm. all the good women have been married or have kids at this point. And what bothered me is that I realized that so many men prescribe to this way of thinking. Okay. So I know that as women, we can say, that's bullshit. Like, that's right. crazy. I'm like, like it is. shades on because I'm like, mm, the shade that I just heard. <laughs> so it is. Yeah. I mean, I think it is a, a shitty way of thinking. But then the reality is, like, if we're looking to be with men, if men are feeling this way, is that something that we should be kind of factoring into how we move? Your face oh. changed. <laughs> so Okay. Right. I'm not settling Erica for Kiss. less. I'm for not what? settling for the bare minimum. I'm not settling just to have a body in my bed. I'm not settling. Yeah. I'm so content with who I am and being alone. I don't care what anybody thinks. Misery loves company. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to make women so desperate, thinking we need to be laid up with anybody just to lower ourselves to the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. but once you raise up, you force everybody else to raise up to mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And knowing that it's just like, it's few picking when people are on a higher frequency too. Right. Yeah. So. I agree. I agree. I think that once you vibrate higher, it's a lot of men who won't even approach you because yeah, they know that they're they not. Feel that yeah, they're like, oh, shit, I can't mess with her. So like, I think that's another oh thing too, like just loving yourself. Very, yeah. very intimidating. That's why they get, they, that's why they want women people younger sense. too. People hmm. can sense the change in you. And when I say people, I mean men. They can sense when you're leveling up to another sphere, which isn't a problem. But I don't know why they have this idea that they can't amount to just approaching because they see that you're thriving and being your best, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, you can still talk to me. Like, you still know me, a piece of me. Like, this is just the evolve of me, you know? So it's Because it's projection. The, the, how they're dishing out that we're low value if we don't hit the age, it's projection. They fear being alone the most, mm -hmm. honestly. I don't know that they're as scared. a fact. I don't, don't come for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all projection. Keep because, it real. Because, <laughs> honestly, Keep real. I'm a single woman, <laughs> child-free. They throw so much shade at that. And I'm like, being single, I, I feel so much peace here. But then if you were single and you had a child, you would get even worse shade because they're, they're like, your value is even lower you because now you have a child and you're you single. <laughs> 
And the reason why they want younger women is so they can manipulate them. Mm -hmm. They don't like older women because we actually challenge you. We're not gonna let you just do anything or talk to us any kind of way, so they can't handle that. Yeah. You know, that's too much. Oh, you being strong, being too loud. Uh, you can't win with that. Yeah. Too loud. I will say that one of the things men say <laughs> is that they go for younger women because they feel that once a woman is, let's say, over 25, just given an age, they feel like we're very set in our ways, we're stubborn, like we're not willing to cooperate because that's a, a big word. They want someone Are we who's a dog? cooperative. Are we a dog? It kind of I'll be damned. <laughs> I'll be damned. I ain't about to bark. So. <laughs> it sounds like you want a pet. Mm. It does sound like you want a woman. You don't want a partnership. They want you to submit. They want you to downplay. And they don't want you to shine too bright now. Mm -hmm. You can blind them. Mm -hmm. They don't like that. It's like, I understand that men, I, just, I know this is going to sound weird. I understand that men are supposed to be the head of the house, so quote unquote, the superior ones. And I just don't understand, like, why can't we be great too? Why do we can't be together? Great together? <laughs> That's funny. Why because, does it have to be, to be 80, equal. 80, 20 versus 50, 50? Yeah. Like, 50 Why 50 not? in terms of what do you mean by that? What you both Us bring? coming together and holding hands and walking into the world knowing that we're okay. bringing something in together and dispersing out and coming back in and thriving and building. Okay. You know, like, okay. So know. it sounds like for the most part, each of us are pretty content, right? Like we're happy within ourselves, but it would be great to find a partner. Yeah. So in general though, do you all feel like you want to get married? Do you want to have kids or is that something that you're not interested in? Oh my God. I love <laughs> kids so much. I want to have kids so bad. Like I'll, I'm like literally at the phase of my life now where like I'm looking at puppies. I'm like, oh my God, it's your puppy. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in a bag and I'll see the baby. I'm like, mm -hmm. she's so cute. Like what? Like literally dogs, kids. I'm like, do you need me to babysit? I can I can walk the dog if you need to. Like, I'm good. <laughs> like when I have kids, like they're gonna be spoiled, but they're gonna learn so much that I didn't know. So that's another subtopic, but Okay. Do you want to get married? I do want to get married. I want a little hubby. There's some I'm not gonna talk about that because I'm gonna come <laughs> When do you um, see yourself getting married? I'm not setting no time or date anymore because okay. 30 was supposed to be the number, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it wasn't, like, so it. it's okay. But yeah. I'm okay with that now. Before I was like, oh. No, oh. that's just society's pressure. Yeah. yeah. Getting in our head. Yeah. And I had so much time to think for myself. It's a no for marriage for me, and it's a no for kids for me. Okay. No Can we tell you feel comfortable expanding oh, on that? So what makes you decide to not get married or not want kids? So I was raised in a two family household. So I experienced the dynamic of having a mother and a father. It's so beautiful. And I can see why most people have want that route. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately for me, I like who I am. And I really want to focus on my purpose. Wow, here. this is me learning yeah. something new about you. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, I feel like once you know your purpose, now you know your responsibility here on this earth. Mm -hmm. So I move different. Like I don't be in the nightlife. I don't be having sex. Like I don't do a lot of things that this world has custom us to do, yeah. to program us to do. Mm -hmm. And I just thought for myself and I realized here, especially bringing kids in here, it's a very demonic, evil world. I agree, yeah. And that, yeah. I would spare my seed. If I if I love you so much, I would not even put you through the torture wow. here. I, That's love. <laughs> that has been my struggle too, because it's like, I say I want to have kids, but then when we see the direction that the world is going, oh, it's exactly like, I don't even want to be here oh, for the stuff that's about to happen. So Most it's like, are so depressed, yeah. anxiety, mm -hmm. dealing with trauma. I'm like, let's read the sign. Let's read the room. Yeah. Nobody likes being here. And I can tell. So, and I don't want kids. So it's like, I don't need to be married. I yeah. think marriage is for kids. Really? Yeah, yeah marriage is, cause you, I would, well, I would like to read. I would like to repopulate. So <laughs> yeah, it has to happen. <laughs> yeah. I'll send my kids to your Yeah, house. I can babysit. I can babysit, but it's a no for me. Yeah. So she said that she feels marriage is for kids. How do you feel Wait, about marriage? So you feel like marriage is for kids. Like, I feel like if you want a family, marriage is definitely It's to have kids, yeah. yeah right. You think that marriage the purpose is for kids? No, it's not the purpose is not for kids. <laughs> okay. It's a it's an attachment of don't get me in the comments. <laughs> wonder uh just listening to other people i'm like do i have this romanticized view of marriage yes. oh my god i feel like marriage is like disney channel oh hell no for me i kind of <laughs> like, not at all <laughs> i don't think that you have to have kids per se to be married for me i just see it as like 
you know how when you have a certain position, so if you're at a position in a job, for example, and you get a promotion, you walk in that promotion, like you you carry yourself differently yeah. because you have a higher rank. Mm -hmm. I feel like when two people get married, the way that they interact with one another or the way that they view one another or the value of the relationship, ideally, it should improve because it's a higher level commitment. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's always what I've wanted, just to have that, you know, that best friend, you know, it's just like yeah. you're you're dedicating like, your life, like I 90s guess, love. to that person. Like 90s love. Child, you want this 90s love. <laughs> so bad. Like, I, want the, I want the 90s mixed with Disney love. Like, oh my god. Man. But is that realistic? That's not it's real. not realistic. I know, I'm so like the fantasy that we have over romance is really. Wait, okay, so I have a question. Then what is y'all's idea of romance or love? It's like truly being present with one another. I feel like love looks different everywhere. If you just mm -hmm. go outside in nature, it's love. But I think that's love. some of the representations that I see in those ideas like love jones like you mm -hmm. know say the last dance those like, are not love that, jones love that, love 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 that that like there's there's but there's a no not not that segment no not those are those are movies that i really get it best. but it still shows cinematic feelings <laughs> that represent how someone felt to write that in that script that's what i'm saying but just to add something in there this could be a sidebar isn't it interesting how when we think about love we look to movies and stuff and it's right. i'm a visual learner yeah so. but it's like we're visual learn but does that mean that we didn't witness that ourselves growing up like why are we looking to movies yeah i kind of i kind of use movies as the deprecation of things that i thought was missing in my parents mm -hmm. love. yeah and yeah. i feel like it's so many versions of love Love, platonic love like family but we automatically think of romance and I realize like I can love more than one person so that's mm -hmm. another reason why I don't want to be married because mm -hmm. we feel like we have to just be with one person forever no I'm gonna get annoyed like I need mm -hmm. space in order to grow I need so you believe time. in being with multiple people oh like poly relationships could you be in a poly marriage no marriage. No marriage. No at all. marriage. No okay. title. No okay. label. Okay. No nothing. It's just vibes. It's okay. just like I, I'm here for you. So would you be with a woman? I will be friends with everybody. I don't want to. I don't want to have sex with nobody. Oh. Okay. I know everybody thinks like when you want to be with somebody automatically. So you just sex. don't want to have sex ever again. No. You know, I'm not gonna have. Sex. Really? No. Ever again? I'm. That's the goal. Okay. So I know it's gonna. What? It's okay. Gonna be a challenge. Is this too personal? So when was the last time you had sex? It's been like six years. Oh, wow. Been like wow. Wow. That's like an amazing accomplishment it though. Is. And I it is. I just looked at all three cameras, okay? <laughs> oh, yes. wow. And, and that's why my energy changed, my mindset has changed, my direction that's of life has changed. Thing. It's a power move. Your pussy is the power move. You yeah. keep it close, pussy keep power. it alive. Pussy power. I'm telling yeah. you, everybody evolves around you. They have no other choice. We mm -hmm. have the power. We can cut off the sneaky lick culture, cut off the wild culture, if women shut the shit I down. I agree with that. <laughs> like, we I gotta agree. shut the shit women, down. I mean, yeah. now we kind of forced to do that because, y'all. Yeah. That's gonna be on our next episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So then, do you not see yourself ever dating again? Like, what do you do if someone tries to approach you and asks to take you out on a date? I love companionship. Okay. So I'm good with companionship here and there. But so, how does someone deal with that when you tell them you don't want kids, you don't want to be married, you just want a life partner, no title yeah. at all? Like, how do they? Um, I'm not serious with nobody. So nobody is like serious. So when people ask you to go on a date, you go on a date and then that's it? Sometimes, and other times I just say no. It's not even, I can cook at home. If, it, if I don't see any connection, but I'd rather create. Like how you call me to create, I'll pull up instantly. Yeah. yeah. But if you calling me to do, go to the club, I don't have any interest. Mm -hmm. like, I don't have no energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go to events though. Yeah. yeah, like I have human interaction. <laughs> yeah. But I think so that different. I was gonna say that speaks volumes though because I think that we're raised from a really early age that a lot of your value has to deal with you wanna get married, you wanna have kids. So that a lot of women are feeling lost if they don't have that, but you have kind of redirected your life where it's oh, like yeah. absent of that. Yeah. And I was having a conversation with someone today and she's a mother and she was saying how she told her son, like, I love you, like I'm your mom, but understand that this is not my only role in life. Like I have a life outside of you. Mm -hmm. and she said that when she tells her friends that to them it's a surprise because as mothers they never think to say that and it's like i kind of 
feel like when you become a mom or you become a wife, for a lot of people, you lose your identity. Self. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's something to think about too. I just chose to opt out to really have control of my own destiny. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we feel like I gotta wait to be happy until I get married. I gotta wait to go on vacation until I have kids. If you don't live your life, mm -hmm. like, yeah. if you don't live your I, life. I was yeah. gonna say earlier before Tanisha said something, I feel like it's so interesting how I've been able to get to know you guys through sitting down recording. <laughs> Laughing, smiling all the time. <laughs> so it's just so cool that we're able to encapsulate these different videos with you guys. I'm sorry, sidetracked, but it's just like so unique. Like I never knew that about you. Mm -hmm. Like we followed each other on social media for a little while, and I was like, wait, what? Like we could roll the tape back and show like my reaction. I looked at all three cameras. I was like, what? Yeah, no, I'm six years. I'm very vocal about being abstinent and celibate. I'm like, so this is the way. You see the way the world is going. If you don't, if you want to play Russian roulette with your life that's on you mm -hmm. and most people are really just after a shallow side of you anyway they don't want to really get a depth to you they really mm -hmm. don't want to know you yeah. most people are just temporary have you found anyone close enough to really want it to like get to know you like seriously without sex without marriage without kids no it's rare. Are there other? I'm sorry. Are there other people like you? Like, no, there's, there's, there's there other people, people out like here. Yes, because I talk about it on YouTube all the time. So, like, people are in the comments like, "I'm with you. I'm with you." But I haven't met it in person yet. So, mm. That's, so, <laughs> so what, is, what is what you're doing? Call it's just abstinence. So it's abstinence. I mean, it's a sexuality called asexual. Yeah. That's when you just have no attraction. Of course, like I still think people are aesthetically pleasing. Do you talk about it? What? Like, like asexual? Person, somebody looks good. Like yeah, people sexy look good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think when you look good, you're gonna attract good looking people. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's just automatically. But I just have control of my own sexual sexuality to not feel aroused when like I'm around. Uh, okay, we can cut this out this thing, but I just want to know for myself. So do you masturbate or is that something that you was thinking? I haven't as well? recently. I haven't So you yet. don't have a dildo, like you don't have no, like no not, vibrator. Yeah, I haven't like Wow. I haven't. But I, I still that need to experience crazy. my. I still need to experience <laughs> my body. Honestly, yeah. for myself. Nah, <laughs> she done told us. Hold my hand, girl. She done told us some stuff today. I just don't know what's going on. The name of Jesus. No, Christ. but and that's so another thing. Kids. Like I realize, I realize most women are having sex with men, and they're not even making you orgasm. Oh them. yeah, right. that's a thing. That's a thing. That's a thing. I was in college and I took a human sexuality class and I had a professor, he had to be like a good 80 years old. And so he would have us write journal entries about these different topics about sex. And one of the things I wrote about was like, I'm having sex with people and I never have orgasm. I'm like, why hasn't it happened? And you know, da, 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 da. And his response was, well, don't have sex then. Like don't focus so much on just having an orgasm with people who aren't there to satisfy your needs. Mm -hmm. And once I kind of adapted that and understanding that Dang. you have to be with someone who actually cares about you, you're two people who are engaging, like you can't leave your pleasure up to someone else, I navigated sex a lot differently. So what, 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 um, what school was this? I went to a community college. Yeah. Wow. So before I transferred over to my university. Yeah. Cool. It was dope. I love that, that sex, class. That's real sex. That right? Yeah. 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 Counseling no sex. Bag. Bag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now. <laughs> so to switch gears a little bit, um, I just want to talk about how you think people perceive us. So for you, for example, you said you come from a two parent household. So how does your family feel about your decisions or your friends or, you know, anyone else about not wanting to get married or have children? Y'all just seen the reaction. It's shocking. It's really yeah. shocking to people. Like, mm -hmm. what do you mean? Like, what are you gonna do with your life? I can show you better than I can tell you. Mm -hmm. That's all I can do is just lead the way and just shift the paradigm to show people it's another route you can go. Mm -hmm. It's another route to choose you. It's a whole different world out you here. You like to eat in a garden that did not eat the apple. <laughs> mm. Okay. So what advice would you give? Because I'll, I'll just be completely transparent because I know that we are pretty confident within ourselves, but I know there are a lot of women out there who aren't. Mm -hmm. And I remember, and this isn't just black women, these are all women because we're all getting these messages. And I remember mm -hmm. once reading an article about a woman, she turned 30, she committed suicide because again, she had no kids and she wasn't oh, married. Wow. And so honestly being in this content creation space and mm -hmm. just having a lot of male voices in my head and just seeing the things that men say online, it really does get to you. Like if you are in a space where you're just not sure about yourself it can't bother you and because I was listening to those messages the last time that I actually tried to date someone I found myself being in a verbal a verbally abusive situation and I was tolerating a lot because it's like 
okay, like you can't keep the client to everybody, you're running out of time. So it's like you start to wow. settle for things like that. Wow. And that was a moment of reflection for myself. I'm yeah. like, okay, I can't like lower my self worth or take things that I know I don't deserve just because people have this ideology that you should just pick a man and stick with him. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really what people think. They're like, just pick somebody and get married to them. And, like, and just be happy with the rest of your life. So for women who might be feeling that pressure, what are things that you would tell them? <sighs> just breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's gonna be a bumpy ride. It really is. So. If you never find someone, so I'm gonna be sad. Single, I'm be like, okay God, with? why? I'm okay. like, I'm not gonna come to you for guidance. You <laughs> <laughs> still have friends, though. Yeah. People say that. But I don't want to. I don't want to side. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like having women friends, like people in your corner, or just Even okay? Men as friends you know, too. it's like, true because I actually, when I was like really, really deeply depressed, I reached back out to like a group of women that would go like hiking, so mountain, go eat lunch and stuff together. And like, mm -hmm. it was a diverse group of women that like brought me back to life. Wow. But it just, I don't know, once I started building my confidence up, I was like, yeah, girls, I gotta go find a nigga. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I really, I truly think like, Sisterhood should we should value that more. Yeah, we should not. I was like, yeah, yeah, sisters. No. <laughs> we should not put. We should not fight over dick. We should no. not, you know, no. do anything over that. Because Literally, you can have it. Yeah. At that point, like we really will elevate the world if women understand our power. Like we really control this game, but they got us feeling like men lead us. We blind without y'all. Absolutely not. We really. The housewife, the women that really want to be housewife, really be running the house. Like right. They, they silently run it. Yeah. But let the men have their ego. They feel shot. like they have that. That's true. Because their ego is very yeah. fragile. They can't handle what we really well, go through. Um, so I think my advice would be if you are feeling pressure to subscribe to these norms and you feel like you're losing value because you're getting older. I think one, focus on self-love, you know, mm -hmm. really focus on loving yourself, being comfortable with being single, because if you're in a vibration where you feel desperate to attract someone, you're probably not gonna attract the person that you wanna make your husband. So you have to focus on that first. Mm -hmm. But I also think another part of it though is just to be realistic about what you want your life to look like. You know what I'm saying? So if you're saying, you wanna have kids by 35, then if you are approaching 30 or so, maybe be more intentional. So going back to the question about how it impacts dating for me, I'm a lot more intentional. Yeah. I was telling you the story um, how I met a guy and he asked me what I'm looking for. And I was like, at this point, I'm very intentional. The man who I want to date at this point is someone who I see can be a husband. And his response when I asked him what he was looking for was nothing. And I'm like, well, how do you date intentionally if you're not looking for anything? And he said he doesn't, right? So in the past, like if the someone was shade. attractive, I think in the past if someone was attractive, I might be trying to overlook those things or change men. But now it's at the point where it's like, if you're not what I need at this point, we can't move forward. I can't change you. No. I'm not wasting time. I've done that too much. So that's kind of where I'm at. No, I don't know. This, this equilibrium of turning 30, I'm, no, no. Move, excuse me, come to the front, no. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close the video here. I would love to know your thoughts. So ladies, how do you feel about this topic of hitting the wall? If you are closer to 30, do you wish you had done things differently in your past so that you did have a partner by 30? And men, what do you think about all the different perspectives today? I know y'all be, be trying to go mm -hmm. in, okay? Try to keep it cute. But what do you think about the perspectives that we mentioned today? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I wanna hear about what you think in the comments. <laughs> And I just want to also say, yes, don't settle. Spend that quality time with yourself so you can actually think for yourself for once because we have been programmed to feel like life is supposed to go a certain way, but you don't know what God has in store for you. Mm -hmm. I just thank y'all so much for this opportunity. I feel yes, like this should be like, we need to have like a round table system. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. With all shades of black women. <laughs> yes. all together, inviting yes. like Latina.